Hey, it's Lisa from Inspired Wellness. Today I want to talk with you about why sleep is so critical when you're looking to lose weight, feel better, look better, and get healthier. Um, so we've all heard before you should get somewhere around eight hours of sleep. I've heard nine, ten hours at some extremes. I've heard the lowest that is kind of a bare minimum for some people is around seven. Um, but there's all sorts of behind the scenes work that goes on in your body while you're sleeping. A lot of people have the sort of you know, I've got a lot of stuff to do, I'll sleep when I'm dead mentality, but chronically getting, you know, the typical like six hours of sleep per night is actually really, really harmful to your body in many ways. Um, so one of the ways that it harms your health is that it messes with your hormone balance. And there's a lot of hormone problems in America already just with the foods we're eating and all the chemicals and things like that. Um, but when you're not sleeping enough, you're really throwing off your metabolism. You end up producing more cortisol, which is a stress hormone that's typically a associated with belly fat. In, you know, in a state of nature, if you're constantly running from threats, your body would do well to hold some extra fat reserves just so that in case of an emergency, you're not going to starve to death running from the next threat. Um, but when your body is constantly sleep deprived, there's this constant state of emergency in your hormone system that really wears down your health in the long term. It can also, sleep deprivation can also affect your judgment with the kinds of foods that you give yourself permission to eat, um, maybe not recognizing just how junky something is. Um, if you think about it, the flavors and textures that we crave when we're sleep deprived are very intense, right? Because intensity, sensory experience and intensity of sensation is something that kind of wakes us up and makes us feel alive. So if you're kind of plodding through your day, you've already drunk a bunch of coffee, you're exhausted, you're probably not going to reach for a healthy salad and water. You might reach for, you know, a sugary soda with caffeine and really intense crunchy stuff or french fries and a burger intense intense right candy bars um, so when you're sleeping enough it's real interesting to track that you just don't quite need that same intensity of flavors out of your foods that can help you make wiser choices that way um, but there are so many reasons to get more sleep and I would say if you're looking to improve your body or how you feel before you even start making dietary changes, just see what it changes for you if you commit to every night sleeping eight hours or somewhere around there and replacing some snack breaks with rest breaks. Now, in your workspace, it might not be practical to take a nap in the afternoon. That just might not be your reality. If it is possible, I would highly recommend it. It can really boost your productivity to take a short, you know, 20, 30 minute nap. Um, if you can't take a nap, you can take stretch breaks, you can meditate, you can take a just moment to be in your body, walk around, move. That can boost your energy a lot if you're feeling tired in the afternoon. Um, but see, see what you can get from putting a little bit of rest time in your day. It's a lot like charging your smartphone because our busy, busy minds and our busy lives, you know, we're working overtime all the time. People tend to be thinking a lot, using up their mental energy a lot, and your brain demands carbohydrates and sugars and things like that. So instead of feeding the beast tons of junk food to keep yourself productive, just taking a simple productivity break rest up your brain for a minute it's like plugging in your phone and letting it recharge so let your brain recharge let your body recharge and please let your whole self recharge a full night's sleep every night and see what that does for your health i would love to hear any feedback if you give this a try for a week see how you feel feel free to leave me a comment below